Oh, on YouTube, we are back with a video, not a vlog, but a video, still a vlog. You get what I'm saying? We're back with it. We're in the Dodge Durango. It's very sad to say I'm already facing problems. Key fob don't work. In this video, I'm trying to teach you guys how to start your car. If you have a Dodge Durango or any Dodge at all, also a Jeep, Cherokee, and any Dodge, any Chrysler, as a matter of fact. Once it has this key fob or the new one, you can do this trick. I'll show you how to use this one and also the new one because you know this is from like 2011 to 2015 I think and then it changes to the, the one that looks like the Range Rover kind of low square one. I can't believe it. I haven't had the car a week and um, sorry it doesn't want to start. But on a further you uh, yo, let's just jump right into the video so y'all can see what I'm talking about because I'm going to be talking too much. Be me. Make sure you guys go like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you comment if you know all these little tricks I've been showing y'all. Let me know how you know them and when and I know what car, you know what I'm saying? And if you have any other tricks you want to show me or teach me, drop leave it in the comments, you feel me? But make sure you guys go like, comment, subscribe, and um, you know, let's spin the intro. Peace. So yeah, I mean, as y'all have seen the title, but first of all, it's not that the key fob is dead, because obviously it works. So the key fob is not dead. If it was dead, it would have been a way better problem. We don't need to do no, no, what we, what we, no, no, none of that. But again, no. close open so it's not dead but look at this if i was to put my feet on the brake and nothing so normally it says key is not detected it says key not it says push the brakes and, and stuff brake oh it would even get hard already i'm on the brake see it says off right here cool see look okay everything gone see now you will normally think hey my car is dead but he's dead this is not on the third and um i need to go to a mechanic you know yeah the mechanic you know, but i'm here to say nah you need to go to no mechanic i'm here to to not make you go to mechanic this is for minor problems which may get y'all scared because i mean this something to some of y'all on the sheets yeah, I'm like, oh, I need a jump start. I need a this, and I need a toe, and I need. You don't. Don't need none of that. You what you need to do is stop stressing and call my line right here, and I tell you a trick. Then if the trick don't work, then you start stressing again, cause I'm I I'm no mechanical guru genius. You know what I'm saying? But call me first, then you stress. Don't stress before you call. You feel me? As I said, make sure you guys go like and subscribe. I will show you what I would do, uh, what I did, and uh, what I am going to do. Because I mean, I'm at work, I'm on break, I wanted to get some food. And um, so first, I tried my um, my automatic starter. What you call it? Um, what you say? Automatic starter. So stupid. You'll see this red light dot blinking thing. So let's try automatic start again. One, two. Yeah. One, two. No, okay, let's open it. Then one, two. Close it. Okay. So that just closed the car and that's it. Cool. So, so this is where you get interesting, people. So first, let me show you. See this right here, this button that I get my brake really stiff. I can't press it. So you can see my foot's on the brake. It just stuck. 
don't pump, pump your brakes too much when it's that tough you will burst the cable you will get brake leak and you'll get all those stuff i don't know if that's true but it may be probably what happened so don't do that if it's stiff stop the q-tip when you feel resistance take that how you might take it so let's go ahead so first once you see a key like this it has um a little key detection sensor in it for the new ones it's a bit stronger you don't what i'm about to do to this one you don't need to do it for the new ones the new ones you just need to put this one you just need to touch it like this press the brake and use the key to press it and that's how you activate your touch push sensor in your key to the ignition so you will do this as i said like let me show you for the new one you know those the little boxy keys are shaped like little squares you know like the new dodge and the stuff like that your key get your key fob you this right here your start button you use a key fob instead of your finger press the brake press it but mine is the 20 the older year it's not it's not you know that's for the 2015 and above but since from 2011 to 2015 normally you would think you would need to pop the key out this but this won't start your car this is just to open your door if your key fob goes dead but what even if the key fob is dead the sensor in your key fob will still be activated to start your car so this is not a key fob dead issue as you can see i open my doors so let me show you what i will do let's put this back in so let me show you what to do so this is my mustang key so you go here you put you see there's a this so there's a little bit of opening under as you can see you see the top there's a circle here so you put a feed inside and gently don't 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 rush it gently take your time take your time gently like you hear that you don't need to do that if you don't you see you lift it up so this is where our problem is and this just needs to be programmed again but if so this see i mean it has a number on it whatever so you need to reprogram this but this my problem is not this but okay look so you can see it works so this is not my problem if that was the problem i could have pushed this inside here and touch this one in and we'll start see it's going in it's not that's not it but what we'll do is if you see look at the key fob look at the hole so you do it like this and you put your key inside then you press your brake turn normal and everything activates and that's how you start your 2011 Dodge Durango to 2015 that's how you started so as I said this this is a tutorial video and you know once it's a tutorial video I'll let you know it's a tutorial video so as you guys can see I was trying to start it with with, that, with just the button no start so this is actually how you start your car if you have this type of key malfunction you might say so you do this you still need to get a reprogram key fob or a push start button because this is where your problem at or you can just buy another one so you need to go to chrysler dodge gm whatever it makes these cars i have no idea but i do but yeah whatever so Thank y'all for tuning in this video. It's not really a long video, but you know what I'm saying? I'm, I just started learning about this car just as how oh, I'm teaching about this car. So last night I was at work and my car couldn't start and I was like dumbfounded. So I was just like, you know what? Let me, you know, go into my mechanical brain. I, I kind of read some little manuals and 
glove compartment and stuff because there's not a lot about these cars on YouTube. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of these cars on YouTube, but they're in driving condition, they're racing them, they're doing whatever, but there's not a lot about the actual picture upper on YouTube. So, we don't know for your June. We know welcome to another end of a short video. Make sure you guys go like, comment, subscribe. I know I need, I need tires, I need rims. I need to stop stressing. Oh. But yeah, make sure you guys go like, comment, subscribe if you like the video. If you think this video is actually, if you think this video actually, you know, you know, is something that you might need in the day. This video might actually be a video yeah, I might need in the future. So share the video, comment on the video, like the video, and make sure people know that they could do this instead of get a tow truck for a couple hundred dollars, go to a mechanic for another couple hundred dollars. Because mechanic won't tell you it's the fault. They will be like, oh, it's the, you know, you need to change your starter. Your starter is fine, baby. Just slightly pull it out because you don't want to damage, as I said, this all sensor, whatever it is, maybe. Slightly pull it out. Don't damage your sensor. Just take your time. When you put this out, put the key fob in and stuff. But it's for the 2015 and older. There's a sensor that activate when you use the key fob and the start button together. So once the key fob come in contact with the start button, it activates a switch on switch. I, I don't know what to tell you, but you know it makes sense. So welcome to the end of the video make sure you guys go like comment subscribe and now uh, we'll see you in the next video peace okay bye i gotta escape dip off in the race you come to the crib and get stopped at the gate i'm getting this cake i'm not